Oh, good morning. Just thought I should make another video, share some of my perspectives and impressions on a lot of the recent events and a lot of big things have been happening. And I guess, like, you know, in terms of my spiritual views on, I guess, God, the infinite consciousness, collective unconsciousness, you know, the truth of Christ or my understanding of his teachings, things like that, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm a Christian. You know, I don't like to use labels when it comes to these ideas. I don't like to, and you know, be rigid in a sense. Always keep an open mind. There's always multiple possibilities for what may or may not be happening. But at this point, like, it's pretty clear. Things are happening on some kind of large scale. And is it natural? Is it intentional? Well, I think a lot of it is natural, but there is definitely a hidden hand perhaps somewhere trying to you know or different factions like one way of putting it like just what the way I've seen it is there's a lot of different factions out there that are jockeying for power right now you know you hear all the talk about the NWO the Illuminati and whatnot and yet yeah, there's definitely something going on behind the scenes but you know maybe it's not what we think you know maybe it's not what we think because like, you know, this past week we had that earthquake on the East Coast. You know, that was kind of just, you know, out of the blue. It just happened and everything, and it's kind of weird. Oh, it's raining right now. But it's pretty, like, you know, some crazy stuff. Like, you've heard, like, there's certain speculation I've seen. They're saying, oh, it might be an attack on the underground nuclear bases, and you know, there was, you know, I've seen videos of, like, there was a wild fire in New Mexico or something, or some sort of volcanic venting, and it makes you wonder what really might be going on with that, like, you know, speculations of possible infighting between the various factions of our armed forces. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it is just a natural earthquake, or maybe it is, like, you know, some, like, exterior forces. Maybe it does have to do with these X-class solar flares and M-class flares we had recently because on the subject of all these different like rocket launch failures because that's something kind of like you know weird I guess that I've noticed what's been going on recently US, China and Russia have had rocket failures you know and what's the cause for that? Is it the solar flares? Maybe like you know these missiles and everything they have very intricate circuits and everything they need to be shielded protected insulated maybe somehow like they got damaged by you know all like this different activity because i remember one like one of the most recent flares they said it, it didn't really like the last x-class flare we got it didn't hit the earth directly but they said there was some satellite communication disruption in Asia, so maybe that could be it, or maybe you never know. Like, there was also a video I seen about they're talking about faulty components from China. Like, you know, maybe that might be a possibility and everything there. But then again, like, you know, you can't really blame the Chinese. What do you expect if you were to, you know, like pay them less than a dollar a day to make these intricate components? Like, you know, maybe, maybe not. Maybe that's not what's going on, you know, like, there is also, you know, speculation of technologies, like, you know, all this stuff, like, even in that last video I made, Dr. No, find it interesting how, like, the villain, his plot was the whole thing about toppling, making missiles go off course, but is it really human hands, or is it, you know, is there something going on up there, that's what needs to be investigated, because what if it's all, like, some big, like misconception because there's always that possibility you know I could be right I could be wrong on what I'm saying but, you know the thing is because the the whole nature of them keeping everything all compartmentalized we never know the truth like you know like is it true that there's some sort of comet Elenin up there like you know the sun or is it extraterrestrials because there's that whole angle too and everything and you know like Honestly, when it comes to the whole E.T. thing, I think there is a hint of truth to 
to that. There's a hint of truth. But at the same time, like, you know, I think certain, like, factions may try and use that sort of information to, you know, or withholding or keeping back that information. Like, they use it to kind of, you know, create, like, they want to use it to create some sort of atmosphere of fear. But at the same time, like, you know, like, it's almost as if, like, take... For instance, like, we just had that Hurricane Irene, who wasn't as bad as, like, they had been predicting, but, you know, it still turned out, you know, to cause some, I guess, you know, damage and everything, and it's upset certain things on the East Coast, but at the same time, you know, I really think it could have possibly been worse, and, you know, is that divine intervention? Is it the hands of man, or is it, you know, something up there? It's kind of strange, but, you know, like, I think things have been altered, you know, there is something going on behind the scenes that they aren't telling us about, yeah, that much is pretty clear, you know, like, things like the economy and everything, you know, that's only, I guess, perhaps a charade to keep things going for the time being, like, I'm not saying it's going to be the end of the world, end of the universe, everything is going to be chaos, and everything, but we gotta be, like, you know, at least, uh, you know, prepared to understand that everything could change, like, over the next few months, few years, maybe even sooner, you never know, but at the same time, you know, it's not, it's not all doom and gloom, and everything, it's not all doom and gloom, but at this point, you know, things are wrapping up in the Mideast, well, hopefully, hopefully Libya doesn't descend into any type of, you know, long, drawn-out conflict. That's the last thing anyone wants, and, like, there's speculation. They don't know where Gaddafi is right now. He's in hiding and everything, but, you know, like, there's Syria in the Mideast and everything. That's something that I think, you know, like, I've seen, I've noticed that a lot of, like, different like, groups and everything, they're trying to defuse that situation in Syria, which is, you know, honestly a good thing, but what's going on there, like, they need to get to the bottom of it, and, like, how that regime, you know, has been operating, you know, it's not good, but it's, you know, it's the same old, same old, almost, you know, Gaddafi, Assad, Saddam, like, it's, like, just one after the another, you know, like, We've been the world's policemen for too long. Now look, you know, China, they're rising and everything. Maybe they should go jump in and help, you know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying sometimes, but... You know, like, what's going on, it's kind of... You know, it's crazy, in a sense. And, like, all these things we're worried about down here, like, you know, the, essentially it's like the old way, in a sense, you know, that old system based off the oil and petrochemicals and everything, like, I think maybe behind the scenes, they know it's not going to last forever, but like, you know, like change, like it doesn't come overnight, in a sense, and there are certain money factions, I guess, they're going to kick and scream until, I guess, like, you know, I guess there's going to be certain things happening, I don't know, you know, is it man-made or is it natural, I think, like, honestly, there's probably a little bit of both, you know, like, maybe it's people, no, like, using, like, this information from HARP, because, like, you know, I've been doing more research on HARP, and maybe... What it's done is it's allowed them to, like, you know, learn a lot more about how everything works. Because that's the thing, too. And, you know, it goes back to, you know, some of my, you know, beliefs of everything. This existence, this reality. The truth is we really do have more control as individuals than they would like us to think. You know, we do have an influence over what's happening. That I truly feel. You know, like, take, for instance... Hurricane Irene and everything, you know, like, somehow, like, at first, like, I bought into, like, oh, oh, this could be, like, you know, something really big, another Katrina, but then I thought, you know, uh, 
Like maybe there are good forces out there, you know, is it human hands, is it ET hands, is it divine hands, you know, or is it some sort of the power of the collective consciousness, you know, like calming things down, because, you know, Irene could have been so much, like, worse from what they were projecting and everything, but, you know, so far, like, I guess, so good, although it hasn't been, you know, 100% alright, there's been flooding, you know, power outages and everything, but it could have been so much worse, it could have been so much worse, you know, and was it, you know, is this, like, kind of like a sign of, like, I guess, like, things going on behind the scenes again, you know? Like, did they use weather modification to weaken the storm? You know? Or, you know, did it just naturally weaken? That's something that we don't really know for sure, you know? Can't really say, but I don't know. It's interesting. It's interesting. And even, like, going back to the earthquake, how it happened kind of near a nuclear power plant in Virginia. So that makes you wonder again, like, you know, is there some sort of targeting going on? Or could it be, because, you know, maybe we don't know the full ramifications of nuclear reactions, because there was a video I saw kind of a while back, like, when I first had my awakening, you know, it was just some random video about, they were talking about the effect of solar flares on radioactive decay here on Earth. And every time a flare is launched off and hits the earth, it changes, it alters things here on earth. Maybe we have, like, you know, like nuclear technology, it's less than a hundred years old. Maybe there's certain things we're still unaware of, like the effects between nuclear reactions and, you know, solar radiation. What if it's like something like a magnet or something, or like these nuclear plants are lightning rods? I know that's a terrible thought to think, but, you know, and maybe it's not 100% correct, but that's something that should be looked into. Maybe it's affecting our nuclear fuel, these solar flares, and that could be, you know, causing all these, like, problems, like, you know, like, all that excess energy going into the ground, like, maybe it's not HARP. Maybe they're using HARP to try and, you know, create a shield to block things back into space, and they're not telling us because, you know, they don't want everyone freaking out and everything, or they think everyone's going to freak out, they're trying to maintain order, because, you know, they got to keep the economy going and everything, and then meanwhile, because they're not telling anything to anyone, is creating this whole environment of, like, you know, confusion, people are thinking, oh, what's going on, you know, and everything, that's why, but, in a sense, after what I've seen, I'm confident that there are forces of good out there who are trying to make a difference, you know? Like, it doesn't matter religion, race, ethnicity, you know, anything about, like, who you are. You know, it's getting to the point where all of this, you know, I, like, it's becoming blatantly clear, even though, yeah, you know, I know there's a not, there's a lot that's not right in this world, but, like, seeing, like, certain sides getting entrenched at this point, you know, even on YouTube, different perspectives, and, like, you know, that whole thing, like, even though, you know, I say, I do believe in some of the teach, you know, in, you know, perhaps, like, you know, the greatest truth about Christ, you know, and what he came to say and everything, but at the same time, I also, like, you know, I see so much division created by this religion, you know, and in a sense, like, what if it's all an illusion act? And it's, it's all this talk about, like, oh, you know, these people are monsters, they're inhumans, they're reptiles. Well, you know, at this point, if you believe all of that, we're all somewhat hybrid reptilian. We got that R complex in our brain, so, you know, like, we're all in the same boat. It comes down to how you choose to, like, you know, I guess, like, the choices you make in this world. Everyone has a choice. You know, and I think perhaps some people are using all this, you know, possibilities and fears to try and, you know, manipulate things to a certain outcome. And that's why, you know, staying aware of everything that's going on, that's what's key. That's what I really feel. And, you know, like, things haven't been so bad. Things haven't been so bad. But, you know, for everyone, 
else out there all over, you know, like, have faith, have faith, because I have seen some pretty incredible things that have happened in my own life, like, or not seen, but experienced, let's just say, yes, there is something truly interactive about this world that we live in, you know, there is something truly interactive, oh, whoops, ah, bumped my head, oops, that's a little blooper, but I guess we'll leave that in, see, nobody's really perfect, yeah. but, as you can see, you know, that's the thing, it doesn't have to be perfect, that's the problem, like, that scrambling for that, you know, perfection, like, oh, you know, everything has to be right, but, you know, maybe that's the thing, that's the reason why there's so much, you know, mismatch and everything in this world, is everyone trying to strive for that, you know, we gotta be perfect, we gotta be number one, when it can't be like, oh, you know, like, you gotta lose that competitive edge, in a sense, that's what I think, because there are a lot of things happening, a lot of big changes in this world, and, you know, like I said before, a lot of us, like, you know, we all have our own unique perspectives, we all have something to share, you know, and, like, this is what I got, I guess, well, that's all for now, see, I'll try and include some links to some articles and maybe videos about some of the events that's been going on and what I've been talking about, and, oh yeah, and something interesting I just noticed today on the subject of that, the whole thing with the, like, the most recent one was the Russian space launch, the one where the, was that the Progress rocket, the same one that the Shor the Soyuz rocket, they tried to send, you know, I guess a supply ship to the International Space Station, but that wound up crashing and exploding in Siberia, and, you know, and I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but Mediv was meeting with Kim from Korea at one, you know, around that time, so, like, I don't know, like, it's probably just a coincidence, that's what I think, it's just a coincidence, but at the same time, you know, like, now they're saying they might, like, you know, Russia's grounded the rest of their Soyuz capsules probably indefinitely until they figure out exactly what's going on, and, you know, I guess my impressions of that is it's either, you know, solar flares, faulty chips, or, you know, God forbid, someone, maybe not even human hands, is interfering with our rocket launches. But, you know, I, I think the solar flares and the chip should be looked into first, if someone wants to look into it, I'm not sure. But there's that, and then today, article I saw was how they're thinking about, in November, they may evacuate the International Space Station. The International Space Station may be evacuated until they find a solution to sending up the astronauts again safely and everything. And, like, it makes me wonder, they have that humanoid robot on the International Space Station, so it's going to be unmanned and everything. Hmm, like, that's kind of strange, but I don't know. Hey, hopefully that all works out, and yeah, that kind of ties into this other video. Major Ed Dames, like, you know, that's interest. like, he says a lot of interesting things. I know what he's talking about. I, <coughs> I know what he's talking about. About, like, you know, a lot of these things that are going on, and it's, yeah, it's pretty crazy, some far-out stuff, but... At the same time, you know, like, I guess, like, all I gotta say is, you know, stay aware and keep up to date with what's going on. You know, we do have an effect on what is happening. You know, and, you know, I think we weathered this recent storm pretty well, but, you know, it's still a long ways to go, and see, September's coming up, and right around the corner, but, see, Everything, I don't know, it's interesting. Everything is interesting. It's all converging in a sense, but certainly exciting times to be alive. And yeah, I guess that's all I got for now. And, you know, remember faith, hope, and love. Be love. It's pretty much my motto, you know. Mm -hmm.
That's all I got.